Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading, and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate. All right, so we're going to look at what are you possibly struggling with, what do you need to possibly look at, and possible future energies coming in for you. All right, so what's Capricorn struggling with? Hangman. What does Capricorn need to look at? Three of Cups. Possible future energies coming in for Capricorn is the Five of Cups. All right. Then at the end, we're going to look at what's up at the bottom of the deck. All right. We have... What are you struggling with? We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Two of Wands. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Justice. And we have the Ten of Wands. What does Capricorn need to look at? The Empress. The Hierophant, Seven of Wands, the Chariot, the High Priestess, and the Queen of Cups. What's coming in for Capricorn? Death card. We have the Five of Cups again. We have the Nine of Swords. We have the Ten of Swords, we have the Two of Pentacles, and we have Temperance. All right. Bottom of this deck, we have the King of Wands. For overall energy with the King of Wands, I feel like that is somebody who has looked over a situation is kind of looking things over and really thinking about things. So I feel like there's something that you want to look over and think about actions and things that I've done in the past. What you may be struggling with is we have the hangman and the hangman is a no card. On the side it says it's time for a sacred pause. Stillness grants perspective. We have down below we have feeling trapped confined, self-limiting, uncertain, lack of direction, needing release, letting go, sacrifice, waiting, lack of direction, perspective. Okay, so what you're struggling with is kind of taking that step back and thing, seeing things from a different perspective. I feel like you're struggling with taking a time out. We also have the Seven of Swords. And that is that somebody feeling sneaky, somebody stepping away, somebody being deceptive. It could have to do with an emote. So I'm kind of feeling a couple different things. Stepping back and are you being true to the feelings that you have within yourself, right? Are you being deceptive? If you're saying, yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. But you're really not. And inside, emotionally, you're not, right? Um, there could be something that... Maybe there's someone or a situation around you that is pushing you to move forward with something and you're trying to convince yourself that you're okay with it, but you're really not okay. That I feel like you're questioning, you're not clear on your Ten of Cups. You're not um, clear on the direction that you want to go. I feel like there's a choice that you're having to make about a relationship and you're not clear about it, that you're struggling with it, that you're not seeing something clearly within a relationship. That I feel that this relationship is a heavy burden on you. I feel like there, there's a burden on you. There's a heaviness. You're trying to take steps to change things, but you're really not. Because I feel like you're not getting down to the root of a problem of the situation. That you're not really being honest with yourself within a uh, relationship. But also, are you could be are you feeling that there is somebody that is not being truthful in this relationship that they're not being clear that they're really not that partnership that they're not looking out for you that they're not 
doing things for you in a genuine way. So I feel like that's what you're struggling with and that you haven't been able to take. It's almost like when we're in a situation that is a negative one, we can't see clearly because we're in the midst of it and we need to step back from it. We need to step away from it. And I feel like that's what you're struggling with is to step away and really see the truth of a situation. What you need to look at is we have three of cups, we have friendship, and we have, it's a yes card. We have reunion, celebrations, parties, socialization, gatherings, happy times, right? Getting together, feeling happy, celebrating, feeling good. What you need to look at is your own happiness. Where is that happiness? Where does that lie? Um, where is that? How do you feel that? How do you get back to that? How do you, for you, right? Because seven of wands is for you. What is it for you? I feel like maybe you feel like there's a lot of things coming towards you that there's, you know, or are you putting your happiness in lots of other people, but you need to put that happiness within yourself, right? There's something that your inner voice is telling you that it's trying to, it's trying to tell you something, but you're not listening to it. Your answers that you're searching for are within you. It's your own emotions and your own feelings. And I feel like it's you coming into your own power because we have the chariot here, which is you're, you're setting the pace. You're moving forward, right? You're doing, you have to do what is best for you. You are in control. I feel like you are not making the choices that are, that are making you happy, that you're making choices that are making other people happy. Um, King of Wands is also someone who can be selfish. And I feel like maybe it's time for you to be a little selfish. Maybe it's time for you to look out for you. All right. So future energies, we have the five of cups, which is loss, which is no sadness, loss, grief, despair, abandonment, guilt, remorse, regret, trauma, mourning, heartbreak, right? Unwelcome change, focusing on negative emotions. But I also feel like it's, it's time for you to let go of something. We have this card twice here. It's time for you to, to look at something because I love that the death card came out because the death card is about letting go of something but transforming and changing. And we have this person is laying down here and the horse is going across that person and is moving towards the hierophant here and moving towards the sun. Change. Because I feel like you're, you're having this emptiness over here that you're not having that emotional fulfillment for yourself and that is something that you need to realize and to let go of and to turn it around. We have the two cups here, right? But you're worried about something. You're stressing about things that you can't control. But I also feel like it's progress for you because we're going from the nine to the ten of swords. That you're making that progress, that you're letting that go, that you're letting all of these swords go, like you're exhausted and you're tired, but I feel like, you know, tens are completions and then it's like you're letting that go. You're realizing in this future energy, this energy that's coming in for you is you're realizing that there are things that you have to let go of to find that balance, right? To find that balance within yourself and we have the infinity sign which is individual empowerment and everlasting love is you know loving yourself and making choices that are best for you temperance is sagittarius and being patient but it's also about that balance and then we have the sun that's coming up again here um i feel that finding that balance is that it's not being just selfish within yourself that if you're in a relationship or you're doing things or you know whatever whatever it is has to relate with your life is that you're doing things that not only you're helping other people, but you're also helping yourself. Don't forget about you. Don't forget about you. Don't forget about your choices, your feelings, your ten of cups, right? Your cup overflowing. Don't forget about you. And I feel like that's what this reading is, is don't put yourself in this five of cups energy and don't, you know, feel that you're the one that has to be left out don't worry about things that you can't control don't forget about you embrace your own power and your own energy and your own strength that's very important sometimes we get so involved with other people and other things that we forget about us and I feel like that's something that you don't want to do that you want to take a look at that you want to look at your own ten of cups all right so let's I'm kind of feeling like Let's pull one of these. 
over each one. We have the Queen of Pentacles. All right, that's that friendship. Is it a friendship, right? It's, that's that grounding energy. That's that partnership, right? It's that working together. We have the Fool, new starts, new beginnings, right? Taking that leap of faith, making those changes. And then we have the Three of Cups, which is that happiness, which is what we had over here, is that celebration and feeling happier. You're feeling lighter and you're feeling happier because you're making these changes, but I feel like there's something new that you're going to start. There's something new that's, that, that you realize, that you open your eyes to because you embrace this hangman over here because you've stepped away from a situation and you're able to see it clearly. All right. Sincere relationships. Is it a sincere relationship that you're having with this person or was it not before, but that's what you're working on? You know, saying your true feelings that, hey, I'm feeling left out or no, I don't really want to make these changes. No, I don't really want to do these things. How can we compromise? How can we work this through? How can we do this so that both of us are feeling happy, that both of us are feeling fulfilled, that both of us are, you know, feeling like we're gaining something instead of one person getting everything and the other person being left out? So I feel like that's kind of that sincere relationship is that, you know, you really are expressing, you're able to express your true, fe true feelings about how you're feeling on a situation. And sometimes that's really hard to do. It can be scary too, especially if it was a relationship where it was always one-sided or you were always kind of trapped in this. But then, you know, there's change and, you know, people don't like change. But I feel like this is change that is the best for you, that is positive for you. And as you're looking over the time that you've spent in this situation, that you're seeing that, hey, I need to see things from a different perspective and I need to change things up. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.